Hello everyone, my name is Kelsey and I'm the owner of Professor Pinchy's Puzzle Emporium. It is a new hermit crab store that I decided to start um, to sell hermit crab toys and enrichment items. Um, I got the idea last year, 2020, when I did a presentation for CrabCon on enrichment. And um, we do a lot already for enrichment for hermit crab enclosures, just with the well set up enclosure. But we didn't really have a whole lot in the way of options for cognitive enrichment or food puzzles or anything like that. Um, so I got the idea that maybe I could try making stuff to share with other owners. And this is what I've come up with so far. Um, these are some of the toys that I'm going to be selling at CrabCon. And uh, I will have a couple of surprises as well. But uh, I figured I would talk a little bit about each of these. Um, the first two of the hanging ones are uh, just little like carousel uh, mobile toys. Um, that could be used to put leaf litter or flowers or whatever you wanted, honestly. Um, I was also thinking you could possibly get uh, plastic cups to put in them and give them food just kind of hanging more up out of the way so they have to figure out how to get to it. Uh, they would also be great just for climbing on with the hoops. So I have a couple different sizes of those, small one and a large one. Then the third hanging toy that you see here uh, is meant to look like a bird's nest. And uh, same thing, just kind of a fun uh, looking uh, feeder toy that would be up hanging. And then on the bottom, uh, starting at the left, there is a coconut uh, forager toy. Um, you can put uh, high value items for a lot of crabs that would be something like uh, nuts or dried insects maybe, dried shrimp, um, you could do popcorn, a lot of hermit crabs like popcorn and they have to reach in between the webbing in order to get the treats and uh, so far that has worked pretty well with uh, some testers that I've had trying them. Uh, the next toy over that looks like a flower um, I thought it would be really nice for being able to offer a variety of leaves or flowers if you want to offer single items just to see what your crabs like. Um, I was also thinking that the uh, size would be really nice to make a really nice kind of condo item for the baby hermit crabs while they're still tiny. Then the next toy over is one that is actually what sparked the entire store. Um, I made that last year for my hermit crabs as part of my presentation, and uh, I was kind of surprised. I didn't know if they were going to be able to figure it out, but uh, I put some leaf litter in the seed pod at the bottom and uh, added some sunflower seeds, and they had to move the vine ball in order to get the treats, and they were able to do it, and it worked really well. The uh, vine ball does get torn up a little bit, but um, it lasted for in the tank for about at least eight months, I think. So uh, that was a really fun toy that proves they can kind of solve simple puzzles to get a nice treat. And then the last item I have shown here is uh, meant to be a foraging tray, which was my intention when I made it. Um, kind of to scatter seeds or dried bugs or all of those good treats and uh, have them kind of have to pick through the plant mat in order to get the treats. But uh, another friend also mentioned that they would be really nice for putting alongside pools to catch water when hermit crabs come out of the pool um, and to also catch sand as they're going into the pool. So that would be another really good use for them. And uh, I you know, whatever you, you guys, anyone wants to find for the items would be fantastic. Um, I just wanted to make some different kind of tank decorations for everybody to use and find new ways to offer your hermit crabs food and get them exploring their tank some. Uh, I have a lot of more, lots more ideas uh, coming and planned, but 
trying to start out a little smaller for CrabCon for now. And uh, I can't wait to see what you guys think of everything and what you think of all the ideas I still have coming. So let me know if you have any questions. I will be in the chat and happy to help. Uh, so yeah, thank you.